EIA 2020 we all know that the whole nation i mean the whole world went into a lockdown in the month of march and ever since then all that we've been talking about is corona right the whole world has been gripped by this fear of coronavirus and all that we've been hearing seeing and talking is about corona so just to give you a little bit of insight earlier this year that's when the whole nation of india went into lockdown a few weeks before that the indian ministry of environment forest and climate change they published this new eia 2020 draft replacing the old one when the year 1994 is when the eia that's the environmental impact assessment came into place to protect the environment we all have been witness to the drastic climatic conditions and because of which there's so many other things that's been happening around us and delhi is a witness of that people are already struggling to breathe fresh air in delhi and that will be the case if this eia draft becomes a law but well, this particular draft of eia seems to not really protect the environment but it's going against it well there are a lot of videos that talks about what eia is but just to give you a short uh insight it's an 80 page document the draft is an 80 page document it will take a lot of time to read the whole thing or to make sense of out of it that's why a lot of environmental activists have put together the points that are problematic and one such thing is that this eia draft gives a post facto clearance for the industries or for you know for them to construct the buildings that is bad news I mean before this the companies or the industries have to wait for clearance to see how a particular project is impacting the environment and now they don't have to do that well it's going to ruin the environment so which means they can start constructing they can uh, start exploiting the resources even before the clearance is in place new eia has a list of projects under categories where public consultation is exempted public has no voice well there can be any number of projects highways waterways or any illegal project that can commence without any clearance and that can come into this category well and they call it strategic these are strategic projects that the government has listed under this category so as a citizen of india we don't have any rights to speak up and with the existing rules the public had about 30 days to look into the facts and data and to go back and report and say hey you know what this particular project is going to impact uh you know environment in this way and asking them to like stop the project and now that 30 days itself is a very uh you know very short period for common people like us to understand what's happening and to even gather facts and data and to report to the authorities and asking them to stop the project and now that has decreased to 20 days how convenient but well, we all understand that this eia 2020 draft is favoring the corporates it's favoring the industries so that by uh, you know diluting these rules there'll be more investments coming into india but just again and again i'm asking you the question about great we have these investments coming into india but at what cost are we going to build these industries this new draft will prove to be disastrous for our uh you know forests and habitats and have a huge impact on the biodiversity of india could be the end the death of the wildlife so many thousands of species of birds and so many species of animals it could be the end of it i mean the corporates and people who are coming in and trying to extract the the resources from here do you think they care for all of these things if the government if the government of india itself is going to dilute the rules for them do you think they care the existing rules requires a company or the industry uh, to report every 6 months to see if they are complying with the rules and now that has increased to 1 year which means just in a year once in a year they can report back and say how they are complying which is making it very easy for people to manipulate data and hook up some stories guys we know that in india rules are really not followed the existing rules are not followed and that's why instances like vishakhapatnam where this uh, gas leakage happened and thousands of people were affected assam think about so many other things that we don't know about right and these can happen 
every month or every day and thousands of people will be affected this issue is not really getting the attention it truly deserves none of the media channels are talking about it none of the news channels well the nation wants to know the truth where nobody's nobody is arguing about this where are all the panel members who are talking about who with celebrity got affected by coronavirus why aren't they talking about this issue why are other political parties talking about this issue why are anybody raising their voice against this it's only the environmental activists who's been trying their their best to spread this news and if you knew about it oh, recently 3 weeks ago certain websites were blocked by the government so i don't really know what you and me can do by sending just emails to the government asking them to withdraw this eia draft or to make the necessary changes i don't know if that will work then you may ask and why the hell are you doing this video well i'm doing this video is because i came to know about this news only 2 days ago but we are all on the internet 24/7 we keep seeing news and we keep seeing other channels and other videos and this news never came to me i never came across this news and in march they published this and only we had time until end of june to you know to provide our objections fortunately high court intervened and they had asked to extend the time for people's uh you know inputs and the time has been extended until august 11th and it's only now you know people who spend so much time on the internet like me is just now coming to know about this news and imagine a lot of you guys only recently you're like getting to know this news because a lot of youtubers have been talking about it so this news is getting spread only because of you know social media platforms so sit back and think about oh what can i do about it yeah i don't know what you can do about it but at least know what's happening around what the government is doing like if they can block websites there are there were a bunch of activists who created websites to spread awareness and the website were blocked and they were called terrorists and they were almost arrested like if there is internet censorship like this in india well few years later what if we have internet blocked youtube blocked twitter blocked just because we are spreading awareness just because you know this is the only platform where people are becoming aware and talking about all of these things and raising their voice and if all of those things are blocked well in just like in other countries like china and korea and saudi arabia they have restricted internet access well that could be us in a few years if we don't question now if we don't question everything well then that could be us guys so that's all i have to say it is really scary i don't know what is the repercussions that we are going to all like face well this coronavirus covid situation all the more has affected all of us but this is also giving an opportunity for lawmakers to make such decisions without consulting the public i don't know where we are headed but i really hope that you can talk about this to your friends and family and share this and and see course august 11 see how this goes if they're really going to take into account all the objections that people have raised and modify the draft or if they're going to go about just making this draft a law then only god can save us